morning, Connorsville, and welcome back to Falcon News. I'm Ella Etling. And I'm Hannah Tinky, bringing you today's school news and announcements. Today is Monday, March 4th. Now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today for lunch, we will be having meatball hoagie with cheese, potato fries, and baby carrots with ranch. If you haven't seen Mr. Renzi's mustache yet, you need to get your eyes checked because it's hard to miss. Every Monday in March, Case will be giving us an update on Mr. Renzi's mustache. Now over to Case with that update. I'm Case Shear. Today I'm here with Mr. Renzi. We're going to be measuring the width and height of his mustache. Beautiful mustache, that is. It's a good mustache. So we're going to start here. Oh yeah, I got it the wrong side here. So we got a nice, say, about three and a half inches wide. Nice. Nice. That's, this is one week's. Yeah. One week's Wait, worth. That's length, isn't it? I need to go back to math class. But that's nice. That's three and a half. That's that's a nice long. <laughs> we're going to go height now. That's almost up to one inch. It's just short of one inch. Nice. It's a little bit crazy. Nice. So talk about this mustache. What's what's the truth behind it? Just growing the mustache for Mustache Club the week of March 18th to the 22nd, um, which we're raising the money this year for uh, Madison, second grader at Dunbar Township. Uh, we had a great t-shirt fundraiser. Um, we sold 460 some t-shirts, I think it was. Uh, and we're gonna have a great fundraiser coming up the week of March 18th to the 22nd. So you can buy a mustache, uh, put your name on it. Um, we'll have it all through the cafeteria. We'll have them all over the school. Um, and we'll see you in the meantime, who else can grow one of these great stashes with me? I'm I see your, I see your beginning. I'm, saying, I'm getting already. There. I'm getting So there. at the end of the week, we'll have one big picture with students or uh, staff that would like to get that picture and we'll have the check in front of us of all the money we raised. Everyone who, who grew the mustache um, or, or bought one can come join us in the picture. And us, ourselves, are gonna have a weekly update on this mustache growth. And that mustache, if you can possibly and this grow. And too, yeah, it's probably not so. gonna grow there. We'll all see right. how it goes. We'll see how it goes, thank you. See ya. Thanks, Case. Guys, try growing a better mustache than Renzi. We know that's not hard to do. Scheduling begins this week, and in case you were wondering what some of the classes were all about, Macy Miller created this special video highlighting the Women in STEM class. Now over to you. Women in STEM is a class of uh, hands-on activities. We use different engineering concepts to design and, and build things. We go to a, uh, an annual pumpkin drop. So some of the other projects that we might get into are uh, jewelry making, leather uh, stamping, embossing, engraving. We use machines like the, the laser engraver, the 3D printer, and we'll be teaching the students to solder. I would suggest this class because it's fun and pretty easy. It gives you something to do and the teacher is really cool. We make ornaments, bracelets, and use the machines. Thanks, Macy. Attention all gamers, Miss Labuda and the Gaming Club are making a field trip to Dave & Buster's on Friday, April 26th. The cost is $40 cash only. This includes lunch, buffet, play card, and transportation. See Miss Labuda in room 120 if interested. The permission forms and money are due on April 5th. The History Club is planning a trip to Gettysburg, PA on April 19th. The cost is $120. Information is available outside of room 217 for students to pick up. Anyone interested in going on the trip should see Mrs. Narduzzi or Mrs. Sabak. The first payment is due. This is a reminder that the scheduling is taking place in the iMedia Center this week. Students, please make sure you go to the iMedia Center during your homeroom schedule time. Bring your signed scheduling form and a Chromebook in order to make your requests. Our last college visit will be Community College of Allegheny County. They will be here today at 9 a.m. Feel free to stop by if you have any questions. There will be a meeting for the Game Changer Sports Ministries Team Falcons on Wednesday, March 6 before school at 6.30 a.m. in room 127. Come and see what we are all about while enjoying some fresh donuts and orange juice. Now over to Evan for sports. 
What's up, guys? Evan Means here today with Sports Today. I'm in the auction, which has been converted into an archery range, I guess. But I'd like to tell you all about the hockey team with after Elizabeth Ford's loss on Thursday night of last week. They now have gone into playoffs. So they play tonight at 9 against Bishop Canavan. I'm not sure where we'll be able to watch it. So I'm sorry I can't update you guys on that. But hopefully you'll see it on people's Snapchat stories or something like that. And in case you missed it, the swim team was participating in Whippeals from Thursday to Friday, which as of recording isn't over yet, so I can't update you on that either. But I'll get you guys with that tomorrow. Obviously, same thing with the hockey news. So that's all for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Back to the desk. Thanks, Evan. According to nationalaidcounter.com, today is National Grammar Day. Today's movie quote of the day. You like jazz? From the B movie. There will be a newspaper meeting after school tomorrow in room 126. It is very important that all members attend. See Mrs. Rosinski in room 126 with questions. The musical this weekend went great. Everyone did a fantastic job. Thank you to everyone who made this show possible. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at CASD Falcon Productions to see our new special videos and live events after they happen. Follow today. Thanks again for watching today. Tune in tomorrow. And, and have, have a great, great day, Collinsville. Gotta say something. You like jazz? <gasps>